diagrams, blueprints, maps, scale drawings. Technological man lives by graphics. Executed by hand, they are time consuming and costly. But these were not done by a human being. They were not only executed, but designed by a computer driven machine. The Computer Vision Corporation of Boston, Massachusetts has developed a system which lets a draftsman give simple commands. Draw lines, curves, repeat patterns, modify dimensions. The system does the work. When the design is right, it can be drawn on order. Since it is stored in the computer's memory in numerical form, the same information can be used for many different purposes. But what if it's more convenient to feed the information into the computer in visual form? For example, a hand-drawn map. This machine scans any drawing or piece of graphics and memorizes each tiny section in numerical form. The map is now stored in the computer's memory, not as a mosaic of tiny sections, but as a whole. On a simple command, it can be instantly displayed. A section of it can be enlarged, or it can be manipulated in many different ways. A computer-driven plotter or drafting machine can now reproduce the original piece of graphics on command. It can also modify it or apply certain features on one piece of graphics to another. In effect, it can create new graphics. The potential is unlimited. Computer-executed instruction manuals are now in wide use. Computer-driven milling machines turn out parts to exacting specifications. In industry, construction, architecture, the computer leaves the human being free for more creative tasks. They come from all over the world, 